Hi everybody and welcome back to the Asphalt University with episode 2. Before we move on to episode 2, I do want to thank everybody for their feedback uh, from episode 1 and uh, the Asphalt 101. Uh, the most common uh, questions or feedback that we got was to discuss the types of asphalts there are and, and, and why they're used in certain circumstances. So we're going to put together an episode for you and we're going to bring that to you. Um, but for now, let's move on with episode 2. Uh, episode 2 is going to be uh, about what is the Permaflex Overlay System. Um, and I would say that this is one of the uh, probably most common questions we get during our um, uh, bidding processes and, and proposal options that we put out there. And, and that question is, what is the difference between the standard overlay and the Permaflex Overlay? So. Um, Ironically, we've got a uh, mill and pave project going on right down the road, um, and it is a permaflex overlay. So we figured it'd be a perfect time to uh, uh, shoot an episode and bring you guys out to the job site and show you guys exactly what the permaflex is all about and how it does differ from the asphalt topping. So we're going to bring you out there, and what I'm going to show you is uh, the first layer of the permaflex. I'm going to show you that layer, and it is the permaflex, and, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it and uh, the purposes it serves and then I'm also going to show you the asphalt topping that you pave over that permaflex system because the system does involve the first layer of permaflex which is an inch and then the second topping is the asphalt topping so um, let's get to it I look forward to bringing you guys out there let's get out there okay guys here we are as promised we are out here on our paving site it is an apartment community that we came out to start in last week and we edge milled the entire facility and we started our paving this week. We are on the last day of paving. The paving has been a five phase project and what the edge milling has allowed us to do is this week as we're paving we are able to tie in flush with the existing concrete surfaces like the, the curb and gutter, the dumpster pads, etc. But as promised, the reason why we're out here is we want to take a closer look at what the Permaflex system is all about. And before we jump into it and, and get a closer look, briefly what it is is it's a two inch system at a minimum the first inch of asphalt that you are putting down is the permaflex layer and what that permaflex does is it acts as a shield to the asphalt topping which is the second layer of asphalt that you apply on the permaflex system so let's zoom in here and let's take a closer look you'll notice a few things uh, i think the first thing people notice about the permaflex is it's got larger rock and aggregate and the purpose behind that is that larger rock and aggregate helps fill the voids of the cracks in the existing surface that you're overlaying. The second thing that you guys will notice is that shiny material down there, which is the liquid asphalt. However, the difference uh, between the regular overlay and this is that liquid asphalt actually includes a crack sealer. And what that crack sealer does, it, it, it seeps down into the existing cracks of the, the existing asphalt that we're overlaying. And that consists of the first uh, inch of asphalt that the permaflex is and then later we will come in and we will pave with an asphalt topping on top of this so essentially the first inch of asphalt that we've applied today is the permaflex layer and that acts as a shield to the asphalt topping that we will apply later today all right guys here we are back in the same spot where we showed you the permaflex and now we're back here looking at the asphalt topping let's zoom in and take a look at it so we can show you the difference you'll notice the first and main thing you'll notice is how, how smooth it is. Um, the asphalt topping, it serves multiple purposes, uh, with one being uh, excellent drainage. It doesn't allow water to get held up anywhere. There's no crevices for that water to get stuck in. Uh, two is the drivability. Uh, because it's smooth, it provides a very smooth drive. And lastly, but surely not least, is aesthetically. Uh, it provides really a beautiful finish. So there you have it. That's the Permaflex system. You guys have seen it from start to finish. I hope you guys learned something. Until next time, stay tuned.